In this video I'm going to give an overview and uh, demonstrate a coil winding jig I've made. Uh, this jig is capable of winding a single wire coil, bifiller, side by side coil, or bifiller or trifiller twisted coil. Uh, here's the basic schematic here. The basic machine is made out of three quarter inch plywood screwed together. It consists of two motors. Um, our top motor here is from an old electric drill. I just have it mounted on the back here. Um, piece of all thread coming off of it. I got a calculator to count the number of turns going on to each coil. Um, that's achieved by this washer here that I ground into a little cam shape it comes into contact with the equal sign. We'll get into that later. Uh, second motor is from an old sewing machine. Uh, it comes onto this. This is part of the sewing machine. It comes onto a piece of all thread. That's my shaft coming up here. Uh, and I got a piece of plywood mounted onto there in which three spools can fit onto. It's just a dowel rod coming through the center of the spool here. Uh, you can take those out. Okay, and then there's a piece of rubber on the back here, which comes into contact with the spool to keep tension on the spool, otherwise it'll just and completely unwind on you. That's no good. Alright, and that comes up through this 2x4 here, which has a piece of PVC through it. It just keeps, keeps it straight. And there's this bar here, which holds your main spool of wire. It's just a bar coming through there. Here's my dimmer switches to control the speed of each motor. And my foot switches. Alright, next I'm going to demonstrate winding a single spool, which we'll be using for down here. Alright, now to count the number of turns on your coils, to use the calculator, it's as simple as hitting 1 plus 1, and then as it works, and you can see it's very easy. So let's reset that up, 1 plus 1. Alright, now we're going to take our main feed wire here and run it through. Got a little hole in this wire here, or in this spool here. Stick some through there. Just going to tuck it back under in here. I should mention the foot switch is really important to have because when you get this going, you want to have your hands available to you to control what's going on here. So basically. And that's pretty much it. Now this one I just did really sloppy uh, and fast just because I'm just going to be using it for down here. This isn't any final type of coil that I'm trying to make really nice. So that's basically that part. And uh, here is also where you could wind a uh, bifiller side by side by just having another spool here and winding those both next to each other onto that one if you wanted to do that. Alright, now I'm going to show the basic operation of the winding part, uh, the twisting part of the wires. So I got all three wires coming up through here, which you could just use two if you just want to buy filler on a twisted wire. Um, I've already started it. It's a trick to get it, uh, the motors going at the right speed. Um, so once you do get it going, just let it go until you're done because that's the hard part. 
So I usually let this one start going first, the twisting one, and then uh, and then start kicking this one in. Hopefully we'll get it to work here somewhat, at least for our demonstration. is basically it. Um, I never wind uh, the twisted wire onto my final coil form. What I do is I'll wind a nice sloppy one like this and then I'll stick it back on my main bar going across here. I'll stick this on here and then I'll slow this motor down and uh, wind a really nice one for my final one. So that is basically the coil winding jig.